Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Video 57 on Getters and Setters. And this is a very short video, uh, just on one topic, Getters and Setters, because it's so important, many times ignored by uh, developers and programmers. But it, it's a level of security that you actually need in your programming. And basically, uh, we've already seen Getters and Setters before. We actually, in our login system, we declared a private variable called login. So it couldn't be changed by any program but this program, but in order to change it, we declared public variables, and we'll see one in the authenticate method, which is a found user here. And only the authenticate method or the found user method here could actually change that private variable to true or false. So you kind of have a level of security. And you can think of it in terms of like a bank. When you walk into a bank, you just can't go in and grab money from the vault. An official like a teller has to do that for you. So you can think of the vault as your private variable and the teller as your public method. When we talk to the teller, then that public method can go change the amount of money in the bank, bring your money back to you from the vault, and you, uh, in a sense, get that publicly from that public person. So what we're going to do is actually show that here in this what setter getter method that I've created. So start off with a private variable, and you're going to let that equal all money. And so for, in this example, I have four dollars in the bank. And given the economy situation, that's not <laughs> unforeseeable, right? So I'm going to create two public methods. One uh, method to basically tell me how much money is in there, which I'll call get method, and one which gives me the ability to change that method, or I'll call that set money. So you can see pretty much all I'm going to do is return the amount of money that I have in my public get money method. And in my uh, function with sets of money, I just set a new value for the money. Let's go ahead and go to PHP Eclipse and actually run the program. So we're in PHP Eclipse, we're in lesson 57, and we're going to run the setter getter method. Now once again, all you want to do is declare it uh, with the new uh, variable and then set your handler. And in the first part, what I'm going to do is basically just run the get money method, which is going to run this public method, which pretty much just reads this variable. And the next part, I'm actually going to set the new variable to 15 by just letting it equal a variable. And so once again, that's a public method changing a private variable. And once I've changed that variable, I'm just going to print that amount out to the screen. Let's go and run the method. And the original amount of money in the bank was $4, which I used my getter to see. And I changed it with a setter to 15. And then printed it out with my getter. So uh, as you do your programming, it's just so essential that you get this idea of using getters and setters and get that extra layer of security over so people can't access your public variables. And uh, that's pretty much all there was to this particular uh, lesson. It's so important. I just want to have a short video on it up front so you can see it and not ignore that uh, important amount of programming. Well, lots of times it's easier just to set a public variable and just get it over with, but then people can read and see that public variable and in some cases change it. So what do we do today? Basically, we just learned about getters and setters, and we learned how to change private variables using uh, public methods. And uh, that's pretty much all there was to this lesson. Uh, next time, we're going to move on to Facebook applications. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and I'll see you then.